Welcome CSC 102 class to exercise PP02 and we're just going to create a custom master theme. We're going to create a theme by modifying a master slide. We're going to add a custom background. We're going to add a custom shape that appears on all sides. We're going to format our custom heading and our subheadings and we're also going to format our bullet lists and then we're going to save our custom theme. So we're going to do all that without using a pre-supplied theme we're going to create our own so this is kind of an example of what it's going to look like when you're done again it's nothing nothing real special but it has a nice color scheme and it looks nice and clean and it isn't one of the generic ones that you see all the time just two slides that's all you're going to have to do here just a title slide this is the title slide it's just going to have a title and your name and this slide is just going to have a list of things i just put my favorite shows and put a list of shows and that's about it this will be the template for all of your slides for this particular project. Create a new presentation. So you could go File, and you could go New, and you could just start with Blank Presentation. We're not gonna use any of these other ones. We're just gonna use Blank Presentation. And it's gonna look like this to start, pretty generic. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the View tab, and we're gonna go into our Slide Master. Now there's a bunch of things over here that look the same, kind of, but we're gonna use Slide Master. Now your Slide Master, is basically your template for your entire PowerPoint. And there's kind of a master slide at the top, it's the bigger one, and then all the ones below it are kind of based on that. So we're gonna start with the top one. Make sure you click on that, make sure you scroll up and click on that one first, and we're just gonna set up kind of our master slide. And we'll just put some basic colors, just make a nice color scheme on here. We don't have to do anything really, really crazy. You can add things to it if you want. And the first thing we'll do is we'll right click on the background here, so I'll right click on the background and you're gonna choose Format Background. And it should open up this kind of Format Background pane that's on the right side. And what you're gonna do over here is we're gonna choose a Picture or Texture Fill. We're gonna choose the Texture Fill. And when it chooses that, it puts kind of a generic one in the start. If you're not sure which one it is or you wanna choose a different one, you could go down here to where it says Texture and just go through here. You can see there's all these different textures. We're gonna use the first one uh, called Papyrus and that's actually the one it took, so that's not too exciting, but you can change it if you want. Here, I'll do a, I'll do this one. I'll do one down here that says stationary. That's more of a certificate looking kind of thing. So I'll, I'll, use, I'll use that one, but you can do papyrus as well. So if you want to choose a different one, just do something very light and kind of off-white. That's what I'm looking for for this. And then what you're going to do is we're going to insert a shape at the bottom. So don't worry about any of this stuff on here. We're just gonna draw a rectangle at the bottom of this right now. So we're gonna go to insert. Now, keep in mind, when you're in your slide master, when you're done, you're gonna use this X to close out of it. But before you do that, you can use some of these other tabs. It doesn't mean you're gonna leave the slide master. So I could go to the home tab or go to the insert tab. And if I wanna insert shape, I can do that. And here's insert shape. I'm just gonna insert a rectangle, I'll just draw it. You'll get a little crosshair and I'll just draw it and I'm gonna draw it across the bottom of my slide. Now we're gonna make it like about a half, one and a half inches. So you might not be sure, you could drag it down, but if you look up here, I can see that it's at 1.95. So I'm just gonna drag down, and once I leave go, it's pretty close. I could click up, and I'll click down, and that's one and a half. So that's about what I want right now. That's my, my rectangle at the bottom, and what I'll do is I'll make a gradient so that it kind of blends into nothing. So I'm gonna do that at the bottom. So I'm gonna give it a gradient fill, and to do that, I'll go over here and I'll still keep this pane open and they have a paint bucket and that's the one I'm on and it has solid fill. I'm gonna choose gradient fill and it actually looks the way I want it to look right now. I didn't mean it to be that way, but, but the colors you're gonna to use to change these colors, let's just say it was, you know, it was, it was orange and we don't want it orange, we want it blue. We would go over here to either end of our gradient and I would choose a color and I'm gonna choose like a medium blue. So I'll choose this one down here and then for this color, I'm gonna choose a beige. Now I'm gonna use my eyedropper to kind of match it so it uses the same color. So I'm gonna go here and choose my eyedropper and just pick a color in here and it'll choose a beigey color from my background right now. And then what I'll do, and it, and it kind of blends in, if I click off it, well, it actually has a stroke, so make sure you take the stroke off it. And where you'll see the stroke on here is if you see fill up here, you might be like, where's stroke? And it's actually called line. And you're gonna have to, you know, you could even close this up and go to line. And it has solid line, and I could just make it no line. That'll take it off, and that's what it looks like. And you can see it doesn't blend in very well, so I'm gonna go back to my, to my fill, or I'll just click on this, 
and it'll bring up that gradient fill again. And all I want to do is make this color, the beigey color, transparent. And what they do, they have 0%. And some other programs, usually you, you, 0 means you see through it. But in this one, the transparency goes up. So I'm going to put the transparency up to 100%. And then that means that will be a beigey color that you see through. That allows you to have some color that kind of blends in so it looks a little better. So that's all I'm putting on there, just a little, almost like a little footer at the bottom of that. And that's all I have to do with that shape at the bottom. Now, some other things I'm going to do while I'm in here, while I'm in my master slide. And again, slide master is open, so before I'm done, I need to go back here and close it up. But I could use these other tabs. And what I'm going to do next is click on the box here. I'm also going to do an, an arrange send to back. I'll double click on this. And I'm going to do send. They have send backwards. I'm going to do just send to back. That'll make sure it goes behind anything else, anything else that's there right now there's anything that's going to be on top of it. So I'll just make sure I do that. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go up to this title style up here, master title style, and I'll highlight it and I'll go back to my home tab because that's where I see this stuff. And I'm going to choose Georgia. Georgia's a nice bold serif font. So I'll, you could type in G or you could scroll down and look for Georgia right here. And it doesn't look that nice right now, but it has a very nice heavy bold to it. So I'll give it a nice heavy bold. And I don't think we have to change the size. It's like 44. That's fine for now. And we're going to choose the same blue color that we're using down here. Now, what you could do, you, there's two places you could do it. You could do it right up here. Or you could go over to text options and you could give it a blue color. You could say text fill. And right now you can see it's saying black. And I'll go here and I'll just use the eyedropper. Because that way I'll just take the eyedropper and I'll sample that blue color down there. And the nice thing about using the eyedropper is it puts it in your palette as a, like a as a uh, like a custom color that you could use again so so I just made that Georgia and I made it bold and that's all I did with the master kind of headline style that's there and what I'll do with this thing my first kind of bullet style here I'm actually going to take this out of the bullet style so if I highlight this here you, you don't have to highlight you can almost click in it I'm just going to take it out of the bullet style I'll just click on there to take it out and I'll just make it a dark gray right now so I could go over here and just make it like a real real dark gray. And it's like 28 point, that's okay for now. So I'll just, I'll just leave that for now. I don't even think we're gonna use that. Uh, we can use it, but we're not gonna use it right now. And then moving down, there's a first level bullet item. And, and the way these work is, you know, just so you know, is that when you use these, you don't have to put these in bullet list. You can actually use these buttons to kind of indent and outdent as you go. So these will always be available for you. So you don't have to put things in a bullet list again. So that's why you're setting up the bullet list ahead of time. So don't, in the future, don't kind of, you know, you know, go against what you already set up. So, so what we're gonna do for the, for the next instruction, for the top level bullet item, we already made that dark gray. And then for the second one, we're gonna give this a square bullet. So I'm just gonna click in here and I'm gonna go to my bullet drop down, and I'll just make them square bullets. Don't use these shadow ones. They're, they're, if you want to check something in them, that's fine, but just use these. And then I'm also going to make it that blue color. So to make it that blue color, I go to that same drop down, and I have to go down. There's no colors up here, so I have to go down here to bullets and numbering. And they have a little fill color thing for the bullet down here, and I'm just going to choose. And you can see, since I used my eyedropper the other time, I can choose the, the blue from down there. Now, it doesn't show up yet until I hit OK. But there's my blue bullet, and that looks pretty nice. And then we're going to give this third level a number format. So in, in this one, I'm gonna go to the number format here and I'll just give it that number. So we'll have a bullet, then we'll have a number, and then the fourth one will have a letter, if we're gonna use that. Now you don't have to use these, but if we do, that'll have a letter. So I'll just go back to the numbered, even though it's a it's numbered, it's gonna have letters. So I'll put, I'll put this one down here. And the fifth level, don't even worry about the fifth level. I don't think we're gonna use it. So it, if we did use it, it would just be a little bullet, but we'll just leave it like that for now. And we might want to make this stuff a little bigger. I'm thinking this is a little small. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to make this, maybe I'll make it 32. I'll just use what's on my list. And then this one, my second level here, I'll go up and I'll make that 28. So that looks a little better for what we're doing, you know, for that list. So, and I won't, I'll leave the other one the way it is now. Again, we set up our, our highlight. We set up our first bullet. We took away the bullet. We made it gray. This one we gave a blue square. This one we gave a number. This one we gave a letter. And we made these top three just a little bit bigger. 
go to the slide master tab remember I said you have to get out of here first and just close this up and that saves everything so this is now our our master that we have so that everything that comes up whenever you add a new slide it's gonna bring this up so I'm just gonna type my custom theme and you can put your name here it says add subtitle and I'll just put my name and you know and you could you know if you wanted to make this bigger you could certainly make it bigger if your name was too small so that's the way it's starting here and and anything else if you'd want to put on your slide master you could put back on like that sample it had like this little block up here and let me just go back in there again you could it's a nice thing about this you could always go back in so you could always go back to view you could go back into your slide master and on the very top one and make sure you scroll up for some reason it always it's not always at the top if you go here and you're like I want a little rectangle over here I don't know why you would but maybe you would so I'll go over here to insert you know draw a little I'll draw a little box here just a little bit of decoration maybe I don't want it blue maybe a beigey color that's a little a little bright so I might go to more colors and if I go to more colors I could fade it down a little bit and maybe I want a gradient on this one so I'll go to gradient fill and it's going back to that gradient fill but what I'll do on this top side, I'll click on that top side there, and then I'll go to the fill color, and I'll choose that color I just put in, and there's that color. And then I'll go to the other side, and I'll give it the same color. You might say, well, what will that do? Well, then I'm going to put the transparency up on that color, and then it'll kind of fade in, and then I'll go to line. Remember, line's way down here, but I could still find no line. And there I have a little bit of decoration there. You know, just something a little bit nicer, and I'll close out again. That kind of saves it. There's no save. So, so that will appear now on every single slide. So anything that you want to do, you want to make sure you go back to your master slide and put it back in. That's the whole idea is that you kind of build this template, and then if you need to make changes, then every slide will update. So, so after doing this slide, I'm going to insert a new slide here, and I'll just do the, that was the title slide. So I'll just do one that's um, kind of a title and content. I'll do the second one, and I'll just put you know my favorite shows I think that's the way I had the sample my favorite shows just TV shows or something and uh, and then this is set up the first way now if, if you wanted to have that bullet list it's already there so you don't have to hit these things and make it a bullet this first one showing up here I'll just type in first line we set this up to be the first line but you don't have to use this what you could do is if you hit this indent button here we can increase the list level and now it's in a bullet list so our bullet lists are already set up so you don't have to remake bullet lists we already set them up and formatted them. So for this first line here, you know, I'm going to put favorite shows, and, and I, I don't know, I had a bunch of other ones there, so I can't think of, of what I'm watching now. You know, what was it? Stranger Things was one that I saw. I watched one called the OA. I hope that's what it was called. Uh, I watched one. I only watched a couple episodes of one called Colony. It was okay episodes of a show called Love on Netflix, which was actually pretty good. I can't think of anything else that, I, that I've been watching right now. You know, I had watched Person of Interest, which was okay. But anyway, but that's our bullet list. So if you wanted any other lists, if you had to put like, you know, let's say you want to put the actors of Person of Interest. You, if you wanted to indent here, what you would actually do is you just click the indent button. And now you have a list of, you know, actor one, actor two, and then if you want to go back out again, you hit return, and you might say, well, it's going to number three. Well, then you just hit this back button, decrease list level. Now it's back to the bullet list, and then you could put, you know, another show here. So, you know, getting used to using these list items, are, are it's good to know because it'll, it'll kind of help you out, and it's set up as a template to start. So, and remember, anything else you want to put on here, you could put on here. If you didn't like the font of this, you know, if you said, well, I don't know, these are a little small, you know, you could go into... You could go back to view and you could go back into your slide master and I'll go up again to my top one make sure I'm on my top one and let's just say I wanted my second level just a little bigger you know 28 let's make it 32 there now it's a little bigger and all I have to do is close this and now when I go back these are bigger these were made bigger already if I didn't like the the bullets anything I could go back to my slide master and change those so that's all we're doing with this exercise is just working on the slide master we're not 
really creating a presentation here. We're just learning how to create a slide master and, and learning how to use a template that you could use for other things. So you're not always relying on the themes that are in here. You know, you can modify those themes. Now, one, the one last thing you're going to have to do in here is basically save the theme. So to do that, you, we're going to go to Design Themes, and we're going to click on this thing here, and it'll open this window, and we're just going to save our current theme. And it's going to go into a folder inside your Word stuff, and I'm just going to call it, and it, mine has an extension on, yours might not, so because I have it, I have this customized so it shows an extension. I'm just going to call it my custom theme, and I'll just put whatever the date is. So whatever the date is today, it happens to be 03, 18, 17. That's the date today. So you'd put whatever date it is, and you could just call it my custom theme. You don't have to put your name in it, and just save it. And that's it. And then you can close this file. Make sure you save this file as. We'll do a save as, and make sure you save it as. Wherever you're going to save it, you're going to call it PP02 custom theme. Custom theme. You can put it all together, and then just put your last name, whatever your last name is, and your first initial, and save it as as that, and save it wherever it needs to be saved to, and you know to your your PowerPoint folder that you have set up, and you're going to save that, and that's the file that you're going to turn in. So I'll save that right now, and that's it. So that was PP02.